All right, so good morning. What is up? What is going on? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is a little bit different. I'm on a video shoot. I thought I'd film a bit of behind the scenes so you guys can get a little bit of an idea of what I do outside of all the abandoned buildings and cruising down mountains. Today, we're shooting some of these sick off-road cars. So we've already got a couple of sick shots. I've done one pack and I've cruised along the floor over the tree and then followed the car underneath through the trees. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around the course a little bit and we're gonna stop off at little locations and get different shots. So this is quite a chilled shoot. I can kind of just walk around and do what I want. Obviously, I've got Neil filming behind the camera. He's also gonna be my spotter for today. <laughs> Are we up for a truck comes? <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice little pack there, just cruising for that one. They're not going fast in this area, but we have just come into the forest a little bit. So we're gonna walk down and hopefully we're gonna get some pretty sick shots in this little bit. And I know the further we get in, the better it gets. There's a little like jump down there as well. That's more outside, so I'm definitely gonna need an MD on for that. I am using the GoPro 10 because my 11, my 11 doesn't work anymore pretty much because I crashed. Two photographers behind you. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, can I come in? On his own. Is it a glove behind me? Are you in camera? I've left all of my ND filters in my van. Neil's quickly run back to and get them because obviously in the woods, I don't really need an ND filter. You know, I want to keep the shutter speed double when I'm getting these clips. Obviously, because I'm real steady in this, I will tend to put the shutter up a little bit. So if it's 30 frames, I'll tend to go about 120 shutter just so when I real steady it, you don't get as many vibrations. The wooded area, there's a little bits here, but they don't go that fast where it is. So we're going to go to this little jump next, I'm pretty sure, and get a few clips there. Let's do a pack here while they're coming. Check my camera. You good? That was a nice shot. So you got that three in a row coming up here. Yeah. Should still look good. Go! So mate, yes! Uh, kissing the number plate, mate. Alright, this battery keeps flashing red. Okay, Rushing around a little bit, but we've got some cool shots. I'm gonna get in the woods a little bit more now, so I'm gonna take the ND filter off, put a clear filter on, and get a few more clips around here.
So, this is like lap five today. Serious weight loss. Serious calories burnt. Will be hardcore. Hurry up then, I can't run anymore. <laughs> I can't. Go on, Jack boy, you got this, mate. Woo, let's go. We'll catch him for the next lap now. My days. You know. God. Anyway, he's gonna send his drone under a car. It's gonna be fucking epic, so let's do it. On the jump, um, Jack got a little bit risky. What did you do, I mate? <laughs> I picked the wrong car. <laughs> I wanted to go underneath one and this was just, this car didn't even really go off the floor. <laughs> All the other cars I was up to were. Everyone was getting airborne apart from the one he went to go under. <laughs> the tire, I just see, all I see here was the tire coming towards this. Man, I, my adrenaline was going, man. It was awesome, man. Great line of sight watching that was. So, I don't even need to fly, I feel like I am, you know what I mean? It's sick, man. Plus, I wouldn't have the energy. <laughs> We have one almost repaired quad. What are you doing over there? Repairing the other one that we broke in another video. <laughs> so we should have two quads in the game now so we can stay flying a little bit longer, Jack. Got a few sick clips today i'm gonna to put them on a the laptop back them all up we're gonna real study them and then to be fair i don't even think i'm gonna do much real studying just because when you're following stuff like this and you've got more of a raw feel it does look a little bit better but yeah this has been a little bit of behind the scenes as to what i'm doing when i'm at work it is a little bit hard to kind of film and work at the same time obviously neil filmed a little bit but he's also my spotter for today so you need to look out in case there's a car behind me or if i'm gonna hit anyone or anything like that telling me where all the people are so nothing will really go wrong but that's been the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did hit the like button comment down below and subscribe